Moist Miriam, you have been stuck in that toilet for the last two episodes. Now is your time to shine. By the way, if you are wondering where my face is today, I had a severe allergic reaction. My entire skin is red raw. It is swollen. Guys, please do patch test before you use new products. Otherwise, you get screwed over like me. So Moist Miriam, her task is to find a sexy mermaid husband and woohoo with him underwater. I accidentally forgot about Fanny Mae's need, so she has pissed herself on the floor. Floor, which is lovely. Flangelica Fufi also pissed herself because I neglected her as well while spending time with Moist Miriam. If anybody should be wetting themselves, it is Moist Miriam because she's always moist. But today, it was Fanny Mae and Flangelica Fufi. Oh look, Flangelica's resort made 7,000 simoleons today. Love that for you. Oh, and her other one made 2,000, so almost 10,000 in a day. Lovely. At the City Hall, we can join the lifeguard profession, which is a live career. Apparently, we need to have good charisma skill. Maybe we can attend a charisma class here. I think that'd be a good idea. We also need to boost our athletic skill so we can do so at our rather beautiful resorts. Whilst Moist Miriam is getting sweaty up in here, Flangelica Fufi is looking after all of the guests at her extremely lovely resort. Sims in The Sims 3 exercising in Speed 3 is honestly like the most hilarious thing you've ever seen. Like, why do they pull all these faces? <laughs> Miriam, I'm sorry, but you don't look like you're having a very good time, are you? I am sorry. Miriam doesn't start work until tomorrow, although she can get ready for work by, you know, eyeing up the place, sitting on a pedestal as a lifeguard, making herself feel useful. Oh, why, why is the camera doing this? <laughs> What's going on? Why is the camera doing that? Why are we upside down? What the hell? <laughs> Not sure what happened there. Tried to do a really nice B-roll shot of Miriam. Should we try again? There we go, Miriam. Don't you look absolutely... Oh, no, we're doing it again. <laughs> Lisa tried. I mean, she's technically not on the clock yet. We can just, you know, have a little play in the sand, build some sand castles, whatever you want to do, Miriam. She's been building a sand castle now for hours. I don't know how long it's going to take. She keeps scrapping it. Why does she keep scrapping it? Like, just hurry up and get on with it. Moist Miriam is honestly the most rageful person in the world. She will bring out the worst in you because she's so annoying. She's even worse than Chantal Chantal, and that is saying something. I mean, because we've got a few hours to go until we start work, we may as well do a bit of scuba diving. I would like Moist Miriam to meet a mermaid boyfriend. I think she deserves it. It's also a very OP way of raising up the scuba diving skill. You don't even have to do anything. You literally just have to like stand here and do nothing. Though we could catch some fish. Something for her to nibble on later. I love how her ears pop out of her diving suit. Isn't that really sexy? So sexy, Miriam. Oh look, whilst we've been diving, our resorts have made even more money. We're making about 10k a day. It's literally insane. I mean, it's going to take us literally like years, real life years, to make our money back from the money we spent but still pretty cool it looks like she has a want to look for diving work at the bistro i didn't even know you could do that and at the science lab as well okay that is a good idea so on our days off being a lifeguard we can get on with that oh my gosh she has a job moist has available lifeguard work let's go quickly moist miriam we've got lives to save come on no time to dawdle please there could be somebody drowning in the scene. We have to save them. How do we actually work? Do we just like survey? Survey? Surveying the area? Miriam, where are you going, please? I'm trying to get you to sit on your seats. I oh, love that she changed into her lifeguard uniform. You look so attractive right now. I want to have sex with you, Moist Miriam, if you let me. Right now, she's just sprinting around like a maniac. Not sure what she's even doing. What's she looking at? There aren't even any people like on this beach. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Do you know what? The Sims 3 open world was ambitious. It was beautiful, but oh my gosh, it was dead. Every single lot was dead. Do we have to wait for somebody to drown? Oh my God, are you walking on the water, Laura? How are you walking on the water? <laughs> I think we should sit on our chair. Come on now, mate, sit in your chair, please. I mean, is this all we've got to do for work? Seems a bit simple. Are there not any other beaches that register as like a, a workplace? I cannot see any other beaches in this humongous open world. So it looks like we have to work here. Oh my God, sir, please drown so I can save you. So I can save your sexy ass. Please, sir, I'm begging. Oh my God, he needs saving. Oh my God, he's drowning. Let me save you, mate. Let me save you. How do I save you? Oh my God, I don't know how to save you. I think you're going to die. Pause, please. Oh no, she's autonomously doing it. Oh, I wanted to click on him. Why is she waddling slowly? There is a man drowning. Why are you waddling? Why are you waddling? Come on, Miriam, get to it, please. He's about to die. 
in the watch. Come on, get him to safety. What are you even doing? You're just standing there. Right, she's giving him a little board, a little floaty thing. There we go. He's fine now. I'd say he's fine. He looks so miserable. Is he swimming to shore? Thank God for that. If he died on our first day, like, we would have got fired. Oh, look how she changed into, like, a red Baywatch swimsuit. Isn't that cute? Oh, I know you're drowning and I've got to save you. But first, let me just entirely change what I'm wearing. You're very welcome, sir. Should we do a charming introduction? Oh, no, he's running. Oh, my God. Why are you running, sir? Don't you run away from me. Oh, my. What is he doing now? Oh, for Christ's sake. How useless. We have to give him CPR now. Oh, my God. Gosh, what a nightmare. You are a liability. Absolute liability. Although Moist Miriam is having the time of her life because she gets to kiss him on his lips. On his very sexily, wrinkly, dry lips. I mean, if you're gonna get kissed by anyone, it definitely wouldn't be Moist Miriam. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to wake up. I don't want to have to kiss you anymore. Oh, look, she changed back in her outfit now. You're my hero. Thanks for helping me. Oh, that's cute. He thinks Moist is okay. <laughs> Just okay for saving his life. He's probably traumatized by the smell of her breath. Now she's... Oh, Oh my God, is she eating sand? What the hell is wrong with you, Miriam? You are absolutely insidious. I hate you. Honestly, hate you. Right, Laura La Rosa, you're another liability splashing around here. I've got my eyes on you. And you, what's your name? Imelda. Imelda, I've got my eyes on you too. Don't worry, if you drown, I might save you. Who's this? Coco? Coco, firstly, you look like you've got a rich husband. Secondly, I'm here to save you if you drown. Maybe this guy's her husband. Who knows? He's checking her out, isn't he? <laughs> Love how the beach is just getting busy at 6 p.m. like the worst time. Anyway, we finished work now. What a lovely day. Now, tomorrow we've got a day off, but I want to visit the bistro and do a diving job for them in our downtime. Check for diving work. That's really cool. I didn't know you could do that. I guess we have to like catch fish for the restaurant. Deliver two squid to them. Okay. By the way, guys, I have mentioned this before, but if this is your first time tuning in, if you have Island Paradise and it's got lag, delete every single houseboat and delete every single household associated with the houseboats and it will like massively clear up the lag. I think the lag in Island Paradise is literally just caused by houseboats. Get rid of them all. Obviously, keep your own houseboat, the one that Fannie Mae is pretending to look after, but all of the other ones, get rid of them and honestly, your life will be improved. I'll be honest, Miriam, I don't know where you're going to find a squid. Should we explore this tunnel, see where it leads us? Maybe it'll lead us somewhere where there's actually squids, although she's stuck in animation lag. So it looks like we're not going anywhere. Come on, please. Get over here, please. Oh my God, there's a mermaid and he's just talking to us. Oh my God, should we splash him? Oh my God, they're splashing each other so aggressively. Miriam, you're terrible at playing it cool. Please be nice. I want you to have sex with this mermaid. Well, the mermaid just wants to aggressively splash us so he can fuck off. That's right. Go away, please. We've got some squids to find underwater. So let's get in that tunnel that we were supposed to go in before we lagged and glitched out. So she's ended up here on the beach. She just no clipped on the beach. So not sure what happened there. <laughs> Maybe we can go somewhere else to scuba dive. Although our level isn't very high. Can I get rid of the squid job? Yeah, I'm getting rid of it and we're going to do a science lab one because I couldn't find any squids and I'm being lazy. Maybe the science lab will be more forgiving. Deliver five seashells. Okay, that's a lot easier. We can do seashells. So let's get going, Miriam. I love how she gets her little taxi boat. It's so cute. I love this little world. I think it's my favourite Sims 3 worlds. I know this sounds a bit thick, but like, I don't know what the seashells look like. Like, you go to click on something and it just says view. You can't actually pick it up. Like, I just feel like there was a lot more in that previous area that we went to in general. Should we explore in here again? Oh my god, is these, um, are these tentacles? Oh my god, they're little, is that a giant squid in there? I mean, it's probably best you don't go in there, Moist Miriam. You might die. I mean, it's good for the video, but it's not good for your life. She found an air pocket in the cave. Not sure what that means. We're just standing around waiting to see what's going to happen. God forbid, hope she doesn't die. Sure, oh, she's come out. She hasn't found anything. Should we go in there again? See if we find anything again, because that wasn't it, Miriam. Oh, she found a conch shell. Oh my God, Moist saw a sexy, sexy mermaid. Oh my God, Sims 4 could never. It's way too family friendly to use the word sexy. You did such an awful job at finding seashells. You found none. We visit this other diving spot here. And um, oh my God, there's a shark warning icon. Where is the shark? Oh my God, there is a shark. Please don't come near me, sir. I need to make some money from seashells. All I want is seashells. Don't kill me. Been having a look around, but like I genuinely can't find any seashells anywhere. Although, do you know what worked last time? 
last time when we went up on the surface instead of scuba diving we just snorkeled and we actually found them oh my god congratulations moist miriam has been conferred the new title of mouth breather by the isla paradiso town council in recognition of her valuable contributions to the workforce learning the basics of mouth to mouth something miriam is very good at is very important oh she got promoted after her first day at work i mean she only saved one life she didn't do much there we go i won't complain she did just find another shell so i feel like this way is a lot better so she's finally found five so we can turn in the seashells and make a little bit of money so come on miriam let's get going in your boat taxi i've given them all vehicles why is she using a taxi did i i don't actually i didn't even give her a boat <laughs> that may be why i'm sorry miriam you don't deserve one i wonder how much we actually get i didn't even bother to look i mean it can't be much we're literally just giving in seashells like it's not that deep oh, we make 376 she also has a want to look for diving work at the city hall. So I think it's cool that you can do it in many different places. Oh, for Christ's sake, more seashells. I can't deal with it. What is it with these NPCs wanting seashells all the time? Not that it even matters because we're making so much money from our resorts. We don't need to do anything else. Flangelica Fufi, she is holding this whole place together. Oh my God, Miriam, you've got work to do and you're wasting time handing in seashells. Quickly finish, please. We've got work to do. Let's get to it quickly. Somebody dies on our watch. It's all going to be your fault. So get there quickly, please. And your sloppy jalopy. All right, there we go. We're on the beach. There's already a liability in the sea, waddling in the sand. Rosemary, I've got you. You sorted me. Although, Miriam, you need to stop running around. Your job is not that deep. You are not that important. Just come on, chill out. That's the whole point of the job. You get to chill out in the shade. Let's get going. Sit there and do nothing, please. Until this liability over here, Vivian, falls in. Or this next one, Christopher Collins. Please do something. Give me some life. Give my job some meaning please I'm doing nothing I mean there's nothing wrong with being paid to do nothing kind of like my job <laughs> I just play video games all day right there's an old bird over here come on she must be a liability somebody has to be a liability oh my god this game is lagging so much right we're gonna have to oh my god we're gonna have to pause I'm gonna have to save and exit aren't we for Christ's sake oh failed to launch the game classic EA I did hear that after one to two weeks in the island paradise world it will always get laggy and there's literally nothing you can do about it so I think we're just at that stage now so hopefully this time the lag won't be horrendous oh look there's a mermaid I wonder if he's sexy although it's oh no he just got decapitated by a speedboat <laughs> oh my god it's a woman oh my god it's not a man how embarrassing of me I love how she puts on flippers when she's getting out of sea like why do you need flippers you're a bloody mermaid mate <laughs> so we finished work and we didn't even have to do any lifeguard saving not gonna lie that was the most boring work day i've had of my entire life wasn't very much going on there now there is a place here called the mermaid grotto maybe if we scuba dive there we might find a mermaid so who knows she could find the love of her life here is there a grotto or is it hidden away is this the grotto should we explore oh there's a chest let's open the chest first let's steal the mermaid treasure i'm sure they'll love that can she open it unfortunately she's not skilled enough that's not very good well we can explore their little cave at the least i think she's oh no where she got oh okay she's left <laughs> she no clip back on the shore not sure what happened there i've just invited over the sexy mermaid that we were with before although looking at him now like sir i'm not physically attracted to you but when you were a mermaid there was an illusion that you're attractive i am sorry but i think i've changed my mind but it's a little bit too late now i mean moist miriam she's not the most beautiful lady so we have to take it where we can oh my god guys he's in high school he's a t oh my god he's a teen I didn't realise he was a teen. Can we um like age him up? Age trigger transition. <laughs> right, so can you just hurry up and age up, please? So you're an adult. Oh my god, you literally look even worse right now. What the hell are you doing with your eyes? I mean, now he's an adult, we can flirt with him at least. Step closer to getting with a mermaid. As you can see, Moist Miriam is a great kisser, and she's flirty, so she is in her element. Although I think I think we need to get out of this outfit, Moist Miriam. You don't look very nice. You're not sexy. There we go. You're a lot more sexy now. So don't run away from me, please. I want to spend time with you. I want you to fall in love with me. Oh my God, we can have our first kiss. Oh my God, this is so cute. Oh my God, she just kissed it. Oh my God, that was the worst first kiss I've seen in my life, Moist Miriam. I think you can do better than that. Should we try again? There we go. Isn't that really, really beautiful? What a lovely sight to see. And she's got the great kisser trait. She's got special kiss interactions, which is lovely. They're having a proper make out now. Nothing to see here. I wonder if we can make them go underwater together. Oh my God, they can. They can scuba dive together. That is well good. So there we go. Let's get underwater. Oh my God, he's not even a mermaid. I thought he was. Oh my God, that is so upsetting. 
thing. <laughs> I genuinely thought you'd be a mermaid. Although I've just noticed this little cave under here. And when you click on it, it says woohoo in a cave. Oh my God, we're going to woohoo in the underwater cave. It's happening. Come on, let's go. Let's woohoo for all the mermaids and fishes to see. Oh no, a shark's going to kill us. That has killed the mood. All right, let's try again, shall we? Just ignore the fact that there's a shark. Okay, I know it's off-putting. I know you might die, but it will be worth it. I promise. Oh no, she no click back to the beach. Oh, for Christ's sake. Sir, I really am trying. I just want to woohoo with him. Although, no, he's going off now on his speedboat. He's, he's ditched me. Absolutely lovely. Well, at least we tried, moist Miriam. Anyways, I forced him to come back. Can we scuba dive again? All right, stop kissing him, please. We've got to scuba dive. What are you doing, Miriam? Stop doing that. I love how she gets a taxi out there. I'm thinking of leaving soon. Oh, don't you dare leave. We need to woohoo. I'm going to pause so the game doesn't do anything. I just need to find this wet hole in the water somewhere. Miriam's moist hole. <laughs> oh, there we go, Miriam. There's your moist hole. Oh, look, there's tentacles in it. So should we woohoo with the tentacles? Always knew you had an octopus fetish. So let's go, Miriam. Let's get woohoo in. Mr. Asaya is following and after me. He looks a bit apprehensive, but there we go. Anyway, we're woohooing. Me, Asaya, and the octopus. Oh, now the shark's coming along. <laughs> shark's having a look at what's going on. So here she is. She's slowly coming out. So I think she had a good time. We didn't get to see it, unfortunately, but we can infer what happened. I mean, I can't imagine it was very good in the water, but still shouldn't have been severe. Anyway, I think we best leave because the shark's about to kill us. Sorry, sir. I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to ditch you in the water. Goodbye. Though I would like to go on a mermaid hunt underwater. I like how she's got a mootlet called the Mile Low Club, which is like the Mile High Club, but for underwater. I didn't. Is that a real term? Is that a thing when you woohoo underwater. Who would have thought? Oh, look, and there's a mermaid. Matthew Mango. Oh my God, his name is Matthew Mango. That is such a cool name. Love that name, sir. You are dreadfully unattractive, but you're a bit more attractive than a sire, so I'll take it where I can. Would you like to join me beneath the waves, eat this mermaidic kelp, and you can have fish parts of your own? Oh my God, he gave me kelp to turn into a mermaid. That is such a lovely idea. More great news. Our diving level is high enough now to open this chest from earlier, so what are we going to get? What are you going to find in there, Miriam? She found tanz tanzanite, whatever that is, and iron ingots. So that's always good. A bit of money. And we've got a map piece as well. So I've just come onto shore so we can eat some kelp. I don't know how quickly we're going to turn into a mermaid or if it's going to take a very long time or what, but apparently now we are turning into a... Oh no, is it instant? I think it's going to be instant. What's she doing? Oh no, don't tell me she's in animation lag. Oh, she hasn't frozen, has she? For Christ's sake, Miriam. I think she's frozen, genuinely. Oh no, we're all good. There we go. She's a mermaid now. Lovely. Will that mean we can dive without having to constantly depressurize and come up for air? Because she's a mermaid, so she can swim there. Oh my god, look. Oh my god, Miriam, you are so attractive and elegant. <laughs> Miriam, the goblin queen, is now a mermaid queen. I really love it for you, Miriam, that you're a mermaid and you swim everywhere now. Now she doesn't use the water taxis. She literally has to swim back to our really pink houseboat. Ooh, love all the little water effects here. There's a lot going on. Fanny Mae has come down to ask about scales to Miriam because she's so confused. Miriam, why do we have scales now? Although we could say the same about Fanny Mae's botched nose job. I like how they're purple. They kind of go with the colour of her outfit. The only thing left to do, definitely not by using cheats, is to discover all the uncharted islands. So we just discovered this one here. Diver's Den. That sounds like one for moist Miriam. Or oh, looks like there's a treasure chest here. What is in the chest? I want to know. We got some iron and silver. It's a nice little iron. Island. Looks like there's a lot here. Can we purchase it? Should we move into there? Move into Diver's Den, Miriam, all by yourself. Oh no, the whole household moved. <laughs> Goodbye to the houseboat then. Have we actually lost our houseboat? I hope we didn't lose the houseboat. Oh my god, there's our houseboat. Oh my god, we don't even own it anymore. Oh no, we do own it. I'm being thick as shit. We do own it. Right, I forgot in The Sims 3 you can own multiple properties. Another Sims 4 could never moment. So this is our total lot size. It's very small for such a big island although I quite like that it's deserted. You know, we could build a nice stilted foundation out here, build a nice house out to sea. Don't know how far out we can build though. Oh wow, you can build up quite far. Okay, that's like further than I thought you could. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it's not all doom and gloom. This is the one called Mermaid Secrets. Although there's not much here. Like I remember a lot of people were saying when this pack came out, like you can unlock all these islands, but there's like nothing to do there. So The Sims 3 wasn't always perfect. I mean, the lot there is not 
too small. Most of these have like relatively big lots. This one is absolutely huge on this island. Oh my god, what is this? Moist Miriam, get over here. What the hell is in here? Okay, we can snorkel in here, but can't do anything else. I thought it was going to be like this humongous secret, guys. It's just like a little water cave. I'm a little bit disappointed. Oh my god, we can go windsurfing. I don't know how that would work out. We're literally, how are we like windsurfing here? I don't know how that's going to work out windsurfing in here. Like, could you even do it? No, she just windsurfed to the shore and now she's got out again as a mermaid. I was going to say that's a bit weird. I mean, we've wrapped up basically all the gameplay i'll be honest with you guys oh look at this cute little house i'll be honest with you guys it is a very laggy glitchy mess as you can see by the constant stuttering in all my videos not the worst sims pack in the world that one goes to my wedding stories but oh, i love that the little criminal place as well in this world is like this secret kind of underground criminal lair here that's quite cool i think the world is really beautiful it's definitely a very ambitious and fun pack i love the hotel resort thing which sims 3 pack should we play next Next with Fanny Maylie Jones and her frenemies, you let me know. So thank you very much for watching. I will pop a link to my Sims 3 playlist here. See you in the next one.